Tonight on I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Chat did not see that coming with Nimdok's story. Followed by the stunning conclusion. All right. Let's do it. It's time for Nimdok. Nimdok was a... I don't know. He was like a scientist or a doctor. A doctor. Oh, thanks for subbing, Running Pro. Have you heard her played 999? No, I haven't. Um, Nimdok was like a, a doctor or a, a, a scientist, I believe, in World War II. Correct? Well, that's his backstory. There you go. Nimdok, you are kindred spirit to me. Even if you don't realize it fully yet, you must sense it there in your blood and fiber. I've constructed an adventure of sorts to revive your failing memory. I want you to find the lost tribe of humanity <laughs> and continue your eminent scientific research. Man, he looks grumpy. This compound looks familiar. This compound looks... But why would Arm bring why? me here to look for a lost tribe? Why the would Arm bring me here? Who could be lost in such a secure area? Did you know I actually voiced this character? Um, so you'll first notice that this is a little bit of an altered history with Am taking the place of, uh, of the Nazis. Alright, so let's, uh, let's, let's begin. Alright, so if this is your first time watching this, I save a lot because it's very easy to fuck up in this game. I'm starting with 100. Can I talk to pri Prisoner? Why are you imprisoned here? You have the features of a man of intellect. Is this an official interrogation, Nimdok? Or are you mocking me? Well, Nimdok's voice actor's good. You know me? I thought I did. Until you had me arrested for refusing to condone your experiments. Experiments? I know nothing of <coughs> experiments. Your sense of humor is as sick as your methods, Doctor. I love his How voice. How can you act so innocent after having maimed or killed hundreds since the name of science? You are saying we were colleagues of some kind? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. No distance yourself from me. I was once your friend. Now I am your enemy. Why would I bother to have you imprisoned like this? The regime needed answers. But I stood in your way. Well, now you have them. Okay. Do you know of the... Wait, why am I here looking for a lost tribe? Do you know Ooh. of the lost tribe? I must find it. Haven't you taken enough subjects for your experiments, Doctor? Or are there more mass graves to fill? I know nothing of what you talk about. This conversation is over. Okay, all right. Nimdok laying down the law. He does not have time for lollygagging. Let's talk to guard. You must let me leave. I have urgent, urgent business, business elsewhere. elsewhere. I cannot let you pass, Doctor. You're due in surgery. Dr. Mengele's orders. You must let me leave. This house looks like it was taken out of a different game. Like, it looks like a 3D modeled house from something else. All right. What is it? He's got like a nervous... Like, look at him. He keeps putting his arms up. He just, he hasn't... Yeah, there he is. Look at him. All right, I guess we'll use this door. I cannot open it. The I cannot open it. It must be locked. Where have you been, Nimdok? We are waiting on you to perform. You were waiting for, for me? me? I am sorry that I will not be able to assist in the operation. After all... This may be the last opportunity we have together before the end of the war to finish our research. Ah, yes, the research. Let us talk about this research. Hey, Nimdok, could you make me a sandwich? After the surgery. No! Meet me at the complex Nine. later. Look at the way he walks. So, uh, I have a question. Is Nimdok not his real name. I vaguely remember Nimdok being like a name Am gave him. 
Mine! Um, look at the poster. Let's look at the poster. It's not. Okay. Our youth with 1945 stamped beneath. There is something familiar about this. Nimdok is a name Am forced them to call him. Yeah, that's what I remember. His actual name is Nomdik. Oh, right, of course. It's probably like short for Nincompoop Doctor. And Am thought that was really funny. Is it just me or does he sound a lot like an old German Aku? I think I'm in the computer. Um, can I... Can I push the poster or anything? I would only rip it. I would only rip it. See you later, Bunny Shy. Um. All right, can I take the poster? I cannot take this down. All right. His real name is Super Sage. This is what happened. Super Sage got old. All right, look at poster. I thought I did, but. Are you? Yeah, I already looked at. Um, let's go in here. Finally, Doctor. Oh! Everyone's waiting on- Is that a boy? Hey! That boy stole my candy! He looks like he's from Brown's Daycare. With his diaper? He looks like he's from Brown's Daycare. Um... Hmm... Nimdok has no actually revealed name. Am calls him Nimdok because he thought it sounded funny. Am is a is a heartless man. What am I to do? Ah, you are testing me because I'm new here. Today's procedure requires the removal of the lower section of the subject's spinal cord. What is the purpose of such a procedure? You and Dr. Mengel will process the spinal fluid from this and the other adolescent subjects. Jeez. The fluid will then be used to formulate the serum. Spines? What is this? Res me Metal Gear Solid? Revengeance? What is the nature of this serum? I cannot reveal sensitive regime secrets in such a public setting. You need not worry, Doctor. I remember my military. Did you notice that the word regime starts with the word reg? Maybe Reg's name is pronounced Reg. What is Dr. Mengele's position? Dr. Mengele is the master surgeon of this facility and one of the regime's finest minds. You are fortunate to be his associate. Say you can't go through with the surgery. Going through with the surgery will deny you from the best possible ending. Um, I cannot carry out this procedure. I cannot carry out this procedure? I can see that you don't look well, Doctor. If necessary, Dr. Mengel can take over for you. All right, all right. Guess what flavor squirt soda is. We already talked about squirt soda months ago. I think that was during Donkey Kong, maybe. Um, but yeah, as with last time, this game does get a little dark. In case you haven't- This game gets a little dark in case you haven't fucking noticed. Um, so yeah, just, just be aware, be aware, um, be mature, be cool, um, can I talk to the child, maybe? He is not conscious. Can I take this? I'm sorry, doctor. The ether is necessary for the surgery. Great! Ether! Can I take this? Oh, okay, apparently the scalpel's not necessary. This must be the recovery room. Yeah, he looks like he's recovering real good. That that guy looks like he's in great shape. Great recovery. Can I talk to any of these guys? Mm, I don't think I can talk to any of them. Oh, wait, hold on. The, the thing wasn't... Why isn't it coming up? It says patient. This patient will never recover. Well, then why is he in the recovery room? Seems like an inappropriately named room. This patient has been too damaged by his surgery to live a normal life. Nimdok, you almost sound as if you're, like, living a life of regret for your actions. 
Could it be that Nimdok has changed his ways in the 109 years? It is difficult to see what purpose this surgery serves other than to mutilate the patient. Do you think Nimdok was voiced by Her Harry Ellison's grandpa? Grandpa, I need a voice for an old man for my game. What? There is heat coming out of this way. I can't hear you. I do not know. I thought maybe I could unscrew the vent. Can I push this? Oh. Pushing open a vent makes Nimdok very happy. He doesn't get an opportunity to do that very often. There is a passage. Well, let's take this. Use the passage. I smell burnt flesh, but this is obviously not a kitchen. And I would assume not, Nimdok. I would assume not. What is this? A watch? A gold watch. I am surprised its owner was able to keep it long enough to reach this place. I like how he said I smell burnt flesh, but this is obviously not a kitchen. As if, like, burnt flesh is something you would smell in a kitchen. Um, can I take? Take watch. Look at pliers. Can we take the pliers? Oh, we already have a fucking lot in our inventory, don't we? Look at the records. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated here. Hmm. Look at ovens. These ovens are more monstrous than anything Am has ever constructed. Do you know what that means? It means that, that man is even worse than Am. That's what that means. These ovens... Can I... use? These ovens... Um, this ovens. This ovens. Um. Hmm. Push. This up. No, I don't. I don't know if there's anything else I can do in here. Oh, there's controls. I am getting flashbacks to when Gorister pressed the button. So I'm gonna save. I'm. I'm. I've killed those poor creatures. Their blood is on my hands. I miss Gorister. I wish Gorister was the the main character in the whole game. John Cross, thank you for subbing. Um, will you ever play Metal Gear Solid on stream? Yeah, yeah, someday. I don't know if that did anything. I turned on the ovens. These ovens. Is there something I have to... I must have to use these for something. I'll turn them off for now. Ooh. Oh shit, he's climbing. Don't do that, you'll get in trouble. How could you so foolishly be caught in the fires? I was trying to escape, but I was so weak. I fell and got caught. Take the pliers and gold watch from the desk. Make sure to read the medical records on the desk as well. Open the door and head outside. Also use the scalpel to kill the doctor and take the ether. Whoa, really? Why do you risk escaping? In such poor physical condition. That timing was hardly of my own choosing. I learned that I was to be among the next batch of volunteers. For what were you being given the privilege to volunteer? Experimentation, they say. Extinction is more like it. Surely you of all people know the regime's plan for the lost tribe. I will call the guard. I will summon... Tell you can at least help me end my misery. That would give you the pleasure of seeing another one of us die, you cold-hearted bastard. All right, well, I want to do the uh, thing he said first and get the ether. So I'm going to do that. Then I'll, then I'll see if I can free him with the pliers. That was someone's idea. You know what I had today to eat? I had fucking... I had potato skins with cheese and bacon bits in it. Those are so good. Wait, where is the... Where's the... Where's the doctor? Wait, where is he? I took the ether. Did I fuck something up? Those are so good. They're so good. Um... I think I fucked up because he's not here. 
You fucked up already? How did I fuck up already? Alright, alright, load. That's why we do it. Alright, it's good, good, good. We're back here. So, uh, I can take the scalpel and I had to kill him with it. Didn't you say you were going to name your saves? I probably should be. Well, we'll use it now. But maybe I should talk to him first and say I'm not doing the surgery. I, I can't if no. All right, let's use the scalpel on the... Guards, come here quickly. Dr. Nimdok has gone berserk. I must leave before <laughs> the guards apprehend me. All right, all right. There we go. I must leave before the guards apprehend me. Can I take the... Uh... The scalpel is embedded too far into his chest for me to retrieve. Can I talk to the kid now? He is no... Is there any way I can save him? This sounds like earthbound music. Alright, let's let's just do let's uh killed Doc. Um alright, I think I'll go then. This must be the recovery. Um push this. Alright, alright, there we go. I smell but Good joke, Reg. Good one. I All right, we'll take this and take this and read this. According to these records, hundreds of corpses were incinerated. All right. Okay. All right. We're on we're on good pace. Red documents. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh wait, no, I want to go this yeah, way. Maybe I can save this, uh, this poor soul. Wait, the guards aren't even coming after me. Mike, if you hold down the B button, you can charge up Nimdok's laser attack. Cool. What if this campaign ends really quickly, Mario Kart? No, there's an ending chapter too. It's way too late to start Mario Kart. Maybe we'll do Mario Kart, uh, the night... Wait, hold on. That would work, that would work, because there's another arms test fire on the second, and we'll do a Mario Kart after that. How could you so foolishly be caught in the... I was... Um... Why? That I learned that I was... For what? I should... Um... What should I do? Tell... You can that Hmm. I could probably use the pliers. Talked to prisoner. Alright, let's use the pliers on him maybe. Oh that hurts. Really? Cause it sounded that really sounded like you liked that. Are you sure? Was it the type of pleasure that was good? Oh, Oh! He is free. No. But he has lost consciousness. Nimdok is angry. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We've upset Nimdok. Give him ether. Oh shit. Good, good idea. Give ether to prisoner. I should keep this. Nope. It may prove useful. Doesn't work. I hope you are happy with the regime that you set up. Your science could have saved the world. What is the importance of the year 1945? It seems to have some significance. Use the ether Never instead of give? The year okay. 1945, Nimdok. That was when the truths about you and your unholy experiments came out. Would you watch a sitcom starring the five main characters of this game? Like, just doing normal, everyday activities. Could you see Benny and and Ellen hanging out with Nimdok? So, how are you today? I ate one of my fallen comrades. Woo! I seem to recall that you speak Latin. What is engraved on this watch? 
Engraving says time is truth. And since your time is running out, I'll keep the watch. Am and friends. I am starting to recall that you do have cause to hate me. You want to make amends? Get me out of here. All right. Well, he's already got a green background. Like, we're, we're really working our way up. All right. Uh, watch red. And you find Benny. And you find Benny. All right. Use ether on prisoner. Oh, that feels much better. All right. So now can I use the pliers on him? Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I heard this in the hospital when the doctor thought I was sleeping. Waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Nimdok got happy. Free, but he has lost consciousness. Nimdok got happy at the thought of a kiss. Also, do you guys see the massive throbbing vein inside of Nimdok's head, like right here? Look at that. Yeah, Mengali, or Meng... I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. He's a real real person, right? Um, alright. Saved, or helped prisoner. Alright, so let's use, uh... Pliers. Can I, can I help this guy? I do not... Can I give pliers to this guy? Yeah. You should be able to escape with this. Pliers for cutting the wires? Yes, I think this would make escape possible. But don't think that one good deed will make up for all those poor innocents you butchered. Wow. Wow, his campaign is short. I don't know why I keep using the word campaign, but I'm just going to go with it. Because he's already super green. All right, pliers gone. The guard, the guard isn't doing shit. <laughs> like right here, helping these prisoners, and the guard's not fucking Stop. doing anything. Um. Continue your research. The extinction of the lost tribe is near at hand. Do you think this? The regime shall vanquish all of its enemies. Do you think it's the same tribe that Benny was with? Um. I thought maybe I could push the rug. It looked like the rug might be movable. Hmm. Ooh. The robots, yeah. Can I talk? I still can't talk to the kid. Oh, wait, I can. What have you done to this oh. removal of your eyes? Please disconnect the wires. Wait, isn't this supposed to be a child? Before it said, ch oh, it must be a different guy. Okay, I was going to say, that's not a child's voice. That is not a child's voice. Why are your optic nerves wired to the eyeballs in the jar? Please, disconnect the wire. Please, disconnect the wire. Um... Can I, uh, take... No, no. The wires, they burn. Speak to the new patient on the operating table. Use the ether on him and listen to what he has to say. Oh, I still have the ether. I was about to say, fuck. This should ease your suffering. Wow. The I see now, a trinity of three beasts, one like us, one from the east, one from the steppes. They speak in numbers. A lost tribe of our brothers sleeping on the moon. They sleep in darkness, unseen by the beasts. What is on the moon? Such a vision, so tiring. I have to rest. I have to rest. All right. Yeah, that's relevant to the story of the of the uh, of the story. There's moon shit. Wait till you see the Zeman crater. 
All right, can I can I take this? I got the jar of eyeballs, of course. He's talking about the new Overwatch update. I saw that moon level. I still I'm not really into Overwatch anymore. I don't know. I'm not excited about it. Oh, there's the there's the child. Okay. How are you feeling? How does it look like he's feeling? Okay, I'm not hurt like the others here. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's the same voice. <laughs> the fucking other kid. <laughs> they had like one kid. Do you know who I am? You are Nimdok. You are more frightening in person than in legend. What do you know of me? Three arm the kid. The things you do are terrible. We small ones are your lab rats. I like the the very 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 subtle German accent he's doing. Like like one of every fifty words he says is in a German accent. Are you saying that the doctors here have been using children for experimentation? No, not all the doctors. <laughs> you and Dr. Mengele sent all the good doctors to the prison yard. Z. That's like all he's doing is saying Z instead of the. So, I am a legend to you. Yes, but we have our own legends. Legends that owe nothing to your regime. You will fail, no matter how many of us you cut apart. Why do you say that the regime will fail? The golem will finish you. It will not be mastered by your regime. The golem will wake up, and when it sees with its own eyes the evil you have done, it will turn on you and save us. Mike, this is no different than your French accent. Listen. You have no idea what I am capable of. How do I get to the hospital? I will take you there, and we will go to the hospital. Get some rest. We will not rest until your regime is destroyed. There is a... There is a passage here! Talked to kid. Was that supposed to be French or German? You know, a little there both. A little both. Amtalo, please! I forget how to do a French accent. I'm out of practice. Bijou has been gone from the stream for too long. All right, let's swallow these. This looks like it is made of paper. But no, no, no. Swallow the eyeballs. This looks like it is made of paper. But even that is more than I deserve to eat. Oh, Nimdok has... Nimdok has clearly regretted. Nimdok is living with a lot of regret. Hmm... Say every Nimdok line in Gorister's voice. <laughs> Hamtalo. Hmm. I must be almost done. Can I like use the the? I don't know. Use the eyeballs on the. I should keep it. Hmm. There's only like three screens to work with here. This one doesn't light up, though. What if this one's like a passage? I have not felt such heat since I lived in the Brazilian rainforest. All right. Spaghetti and eyeballs. I should. Hmm. Scroll up, dude. Someone posted the walkthrough. Oh, make your way back to the first room of the building with the poster. Take the box on the desk. Place the jar with the eyeballs inside the box to hide it. Failure to do so will deny you the best this possible open. ending. Oh shit! I hope I could. I hope I didn't miss that. There's stuff going on Emergency. out here. The prisoners have seized the compound. Oh shit! Gather all research materials and evacuate to the bunker. Evacuate. Use jar on box. It is safely hidden in the box. Wait, why do I have jar and jar in box? I cloned the item. I, I did the thing that Pan and Koak does. And I, I did uh, 
whatever he does to clone objects. Um, all right, then let's leave through the front door. Slow chat tonight. Yeah, it's it's pretty slow tonight. Stream every night, they said. Your stream will get bigger, they said. Inbox. Nope. Gets smaller. That's how it happens. That's how it works. Apparently, this is the only access to the dirt road. Wow, did they kill all the guards? You must let me go. I know nothing of what is happening here. Is that so? Then you are going to remain here until you remember every war crime you've committed. Hmm. Maybe if you stream before midnight. I started at 10. 10.30. Um... Can I talk to these guys? And it's only midnight on the East Coast. Don't most people live on the West Coast? I feel like my streams are more West Coast friendly. Um... You must... Let me go. With these materials, I may be able to remedy the atrocities I have committed. You can't fool me, Nimdok. You are an unredeemable butcher. But you are one of us, like it or not. Does that mean you will allow me to go? Since you did help us to escape, we'll give you a head start. Then we'll hunt you down and kill you like the dog you are. <laughs> that makes him happy. This place. It seems I was once the wolf. Now, I am the quarry. Oh shit! What the hell is that? Look at that! Look at those faces. That's creepy. Look. I love shit like this. Oh, this is so cool. That's cool. I love shit like that. Face wall. Let's look at the face wall. Faces. Faces of people in torture. Don't touch the wall, Mike. Touch. I can almost pass through the wall. But something holds me back. It's related to the floor from Eternal Darkness. The screaming floor. Can I talk to the wall? Can I push the wall? This wall is permeable. Like a shimmering curtain. This guy sounds like a Skyrim man. <laughs> Alright. Oh, these are just bones. Holy moly. I know this place. Some of my greatest accomplishments were made here. Is that, a, is that a baby bird? Look at that. It's like a little bird. I'm gonna save before I touch anything in here. Bird. Hello, Doctagon. Um, I have no boys and I must crack. Good one. When did that become like a mainstream meme? Because that's been around for a while, but a lot of people are saying it nowadays. More for Jenny. What? The ability to reorganize DNA at will. That's a cat! Did Am discover my work in this area? Is this how he was able to alter Benny and play other cruel tricks on the rest of us? I'm playing, we're playing two games right now with Bennies in them. What does it mean? Can I take the, the rat? It is too heavy. It's like Animorphs. No, Animorphs is when people turn into animals. That's a rat turning into a cat. But it also looks like the rat is turning into a bird, too. Can I take the top of the... Can I take the rat itself? It is too heavy. Alright. It's the same Benny in both games. Ooh. Music stopped. Ugh. Mmm, look at... There's all this science stuff. Doorway. Can I even tell... Teletype. Let's look at the teletype. Ooh. A teletype machine. There is a message in it. Well, can we take it? It is... Can I use it? The message reads, Cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. 
having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device. This leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. This technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. Send nudes via type, typograph, ty teletype, teletub. All right, so, hmm, let's go this way. The legends are true. This must be the golem of lost tribe folklore. Excuse me? The golem of lost tribe folklore? There were golems in World War II? I wish I knew about the golems in World War II. Look at this. Hello? Golem, wake up. Nothing happened. The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper, utter the truth, and kiss him. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Um... The truth is that I regret my crimes. That's gotta be it. The truth is that I regret any crimes I committed in my past life. Nothing happened. Hmm. Time is truth. The truth is that for me, it shall always be 1945. Nothing <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I feel like Nimdok is really likes kissing this golem and he's just he's just like saying random shit now. The truth is that this is all an illusion manufactured by Am. Use the vat Nothing on the happened. switch next to the fluid. Take the mirror, use the mirror and examine the golem. All right, hold on. I don't I need to find the whatever that is first. This is pointless. Why didn't you kiss him after saying that? Maybe that was the truth. This resembles a light switch. Switch you on? Oh, there's the vat. Look at that. I see a mirror. It was obscured by the light. Can I take the mirror? What is this mirror doing here? All right, so you said to use the mirror on the golem? No reaction. This golem has no soul. <laughs> Excuse me? Such a strange combination of scientific plans and mystic symbols. This has something to do with the golem, but the meaning is not clear. Use the mirror. Examine the golem to find the eye. Wait, oh shit, I see, I see. Can I use the eyes? These eyes Ew. fit into the column sockets perfectly. Ew. See you later, beans. Nothing happened. This is... Hmm. You fucked up the golem you need to reload. Did I? What did I do wrong? What is... Hmm. Hmm. Can I look at mirror? Oh my god. It is true. 1945. 
turning my Jewish parents over to the Nazis for extermination. I have found a lost tribe. It is me. Oh. Shit. You're the lost tribe, Nimdok. I guess the lost tribe was really yourself all along. It was the friends we made along the way. Lost tribe. All right. So now, if I talk to the talk to this guy, the um, not it. Hmm. Deep. Maybe I'll put the eyes in first. Yeah. Use eyes on Golem. These eyes. Now maybe I can talk to him. Um. That... Hmm. Jeez, Mike, you really like kissing him. The truth is. Time. Time is truth. The truth. Wake him up. Gollum, wake up. The... Oh! He's alive! Gollum, follow me into the laboratory. Didi! Nimdok, I was afraid I had lost you back there. It is good to see you, and our new friend. Didi, stay out of my laboratory! Hmm, who is this guy? How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the golem. I have. You know about the Golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the Lost Tribe of everything, even their folklore. Oh, I get it now. I read the teletype. What is Project Perfect Image? That was a secret project in the area of reflective surfaces. It bestows the clarity to see yourself with utter objectivity. Unfortunately, it worked too well. Does it matter that you did a truth before trying to wake him up? I don't think so. You mean that it worked well enough to drive the leader into committing suicide? The leader's death is a serious blow to us all, but our golem is more than powerful enough to destroy the lost tribe. I'm very confused because it it's like I thought this was like an altered history. And like Am was was in charge, but now it sounds like it's like Hitler. So I don't know. Speak to the doctor and force him to look into the mirror once you're finished. Okay, all right. Tell the golem to follow you outside. Transfer control. To the okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um. I looked into the mirror. I now remember everything with crystal clarity. The research comes. The serum. Ah, yes. The youth serum. Your research demanded the deaths of many children, but your hard work was successful. Eternal youth for those who deserve it. Nimdok should drink that potion. Um. Now I know how Am was able to keep us alive. Wait, for is that so real? Years. Your youth serum can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need. Oh, okay, so it doesn't make you younger, but it keeps you alive. Okay. Excuse me, doctor. I need to get a breath of fresh air. All right. Hey, you got a drinky? Do you want any of the youth serum? Mario's got the youth serum. Hoo-hoo! I'll tell it. The youth serum was the milky fluid. Shit. It's all connected. Use mirror on doctor. Oh my god! No! 
<laughs> That's it! <A> teletype. <laughs> Look at the way he's just standing in shock. Oh my god! No! Dr. Mengele is in a state of shock. Alright, so I guess he's just stuck like that. Um. Oh my god! He's God! Doctor, kill Doc- Oh shit, do I do that? God. I want to do that, hold on. I don't know if it's the right thing though, so I'm going to save first. I want, it, I want him to do it. I want to do it. Gollum, kill Dr. Mengala. A pig. I don't know if that was... <laughs> Komori, who's been posting the walkthrough, said not to do that. Um, but, I mean, it didn't make my, my mood go down, so I'm just gonna... Such an I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave it. Gollum, follow me outside. Come on. Nimdok. I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. Gollum, I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the Golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Gollum, kill Nimdok. Top ten. Anime betrayals. Just use the same cutscene again, alright. You're not as alike as I thought, you duck. <laughs> the spark of humanity somewhere, always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I asked you to do. Since you now identify with your victims, I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their torture. But Ellen didn't get the ending. We are like, but Pam. we are others within Pam. We are your friends. I am hope to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself. Attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack. But we can send only one of you into his ram space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. Ah, yes, of course. This stealth virus subroutine, yes. To end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack? Also, I just broke a pen, and a piece of the pen flew off and hit a soda can. So, Gorister. I mean, I gotta. I miss Gorister. Christ. This is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all over Am's deck plates. Have I finally gone insane? Insane with happiness? I think you have to start with Nimdok. You have to pick Nimdok. Fuck! God damn it. <sighs> Gollum. Need to pick Nimdok. All right, okay. Gollum. Nimdok. Don't. The reason. Oh shit! You were supposed to kill him. Gollum. So now. Alternate ending. As alike as I thought you. Listen carefully, humans. And you should have. When and has. Now is the. To send you. This may be. Alright, Nimdoc. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so I have a bunch of shit. I have a bunch of, like, important items from everyone's campaigns. Um, 
Let's do ending one. All right, so we have the pliers. Wait, look at summoning. Look at clarity. Oh, shit. Entropy. Compassion. Oh, this is what people learned. Maybe. <laughs> no, summoning is not a thing you learn. Um, but this is uh, from Nimdok's campaign. From uh, Ted's. This one is uh, from... From... Wait a minute. Ellen had a mirror, but that was in Ted's campaign. Ted was the one who got the summoning chalk. Then this one's from Ellen's, because she got the disc. And this one's from Benny's. So this one must be from Gorister's. Did Gorister have a mirror? Which one of these is from Gorister's? No, no, no. Which one's from Gorister's, then? Because Gorister had the, uh... The mirrors from Nimdox, then where the pliers were from Nimdox too. Well, there's there's six items, so I guess yeah, there's two from Nimdox. All right, the book is from Gorister's. Enter password. Six six six, of course. Password valid. Accessing main menu. My past must hold great significance to arm. Um, oh shit. Fuck. File locked. File locked. File locked. That says hunger, but the way the H looks in this game makes it look like wonger. Hmm. Subject Benny appropriated a Chinese War Memorial, Washington, D.C. An intense drive to be the best earned him the reputation of being a merciless military commander. Subject Ellen appropriated at Ingsai Engineering, New York, New York. Panic attacks can undermine everything she has accomplished by her rapid climb up the corporate ladder. Subject Gorister appropriated at Ruth's Drive and Diner, Atlanta, Georgia. Feelings of guilt over his wife's death have incited numerous suicide attempts. Subject Nimdok appropriated at the New Brazilian International Airport, New Brazil, South America. Prevented from continuing his outlawed research by a failing memory. Ted, she's like, I don't know, Ted's just some guy. Subject Ted appropriated at the Epicurean Spa. <laughs> of course he is at a spa. Paranoid tendencies despite wealth, good looks, and social connections. Um Bridge extended. October twenty first, two thousand and twelve. Researchers at MIT report that a stealth virus had purged their most advanced learning algorithms after dumping the data into an unmapped area of cyberspace. Head right, go right again, and again. Examine everything here and take the middle skull from the front pit. Take the hand that appears in its place. A pillar will rise up from the pit. Okay, jeez. A spa? 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 Are you trying to say spaghetti? Bagoots. It is hotter here than for the jungles of Brazil. I get it, Nimdok. You lived in Brazil. Look at hole. This hole is artificial. It is some kind of receptacle. This is where they tried to make the game almost impossible to win. An angel? <laughs> Such things don't exist. Perhaps it is a metaphor for something else. Um, can I talk to it? Super Ego. I don't think I can talk to him. Attention! Don't talk it to it? Is not All right, well, he didn't do anything wrong, so... Ah, memories of mass graves are coming back to me. Take the middle skull. How are you supposed to know to take the middle skull? I guess they didn't want it to be winnable, but guess what? 
We're fighting the system. We're winning this game. I'll show you the bad endings after this, though, because there's some cool shit in them. Um, take the middle skull from the front pit, and then take the hand that appears in its place. A pillar will rise up from the pit, invoke the totem of access on the pillar. Um, take... Oh no! Oh no! Is that supposed to happen? I guess that's supposed to happen. Take hand. I am so sorry for what I have done to my people. How can you take me back? You have much to answer for, Nimdok. But acceptance of your heritage is the first step towards atonement. The rest of that road lies ahead. Wait, uh, I think there's a thing you need to do this, go back to the bridge, but it said use the, uh, it's, he said use the, um, totem of, invoke the totem of access on the pillar. Do I have that? Yeah, I have the access thing. So if I use this on the pillar. Astounding. I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. Oh, of course. Then can I use the... That shock was not as strong as the previous one. Hmm. Oh, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up because he's like real sad now. Hold on, let me load. Hmm. Let me extend the bridge. I didn't go across the bridge. Let me go across the bridge. Hold on. Enter pa password valid. My um. Hold on. E the smell of burning flesh. It's burst. Hmm. Bacon Cat, thank you for subbing. Um, talk to use circle. Alright, alright. You need to talk to a demon? I'm assuming this is where a demon would be. Use access. I do not know what to do with this. I think each skull represents a character, one skull being Nimdox and the others being Benny, Ted, etc. So you have to come back through here multiple times. What does the circle look like? Oh, the summoning thing. Can I use the summoning circle? Bringo. Hey, I know you! Will you never be done with me? Hey, the penguins all look like ants from up here. It'll cost you. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. Uh... What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. And absorbed them into his system when he took control. Oh. So there was a Russian and Chinese versions of Am 2 and Am absorbed them. Okay. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? I think I'm in the, the computer. Humans, but on Am himself, that makes them even worse. Refuse plea first, then comply. Okay. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with AM predominance, I've evolved. I'm essentially everywhere, but I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. I'd like a large butt. What do you have to show me? What? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive, did you? They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is... This was not... None of this is in the short story. Um, so this is like all original story. But I mean, the, the creator of the, the writer of the story, 
supervised or wrote the story for this game too, so... Does Am know about the Luna Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, I think I've shown you enough. Now you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the totem of entropy, and I might be able to help you. Refuse offer. I refuse. Okay. The game is canon. Yeah. We'll work together to beat them. Now. The totem of but I thought that the uh, I thought that the good end of this game isn't canon. I don't know what canon is to this, but um. Just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their. I like how this guy is calling them losers. <laughs> like he's a demon and he's calling these guys losers. <laughs> Refuse this one too. I refuse. Don't be a chump. <laughs> a chump. <laughs> if he becomes aware of us, Wait, no, this one. Octagon, you fucked up. Can't last much longer. Well, it still worked. Do you really think you are a match for us, servant of Am? Be gone. Your program is now purged. You do well, human. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Go to the ego. Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. So the Russian entity. Can I. I'm just gonna. Hold on. Talk to guys. Can I talk to them anymore? What did you do with the demon? Do not be concerned with the little one. He is as much M as the aspect you find in each pylon here. You may claim the space vacated by the little one. You may claim his space if you are obedient. Yeah, that the <laughs> I actually really like the design of this guy. He looks cool. What can you tell me about the They're all flatlining. The humans that slept on Luna. I don't believe you. Do I don't believe you. You're lying. You're lying! What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub -pro You're lying! I don't believe them. I genuinely think that they're fucking with me. I don't really remember the good end of this game. You fucked up already? What do you mean I fucked up? It is hot. You're lying, Morgan. An angel? An angel? This is the super ego, not ego, not the ego. He's am, he's am, your am, I'm am. Is there anyone here? <laughs> is there any other ams I should know about? <laughs> Meow! That was Nimdok. Alright, let's use... They're a part of Am, so you can't trust them either. Yeah, that's what I figured. I feel like the demon's a good guy. I am so sorry for what I... I Alright, we Come. did this already. I there is only one place. Come, Nimdok. Oh, wait. Take my hand. And rejoins a lost tribe. The rest of that road lies ahead. Okay. Now you gotta zap yourself with the pillar. Use access on the pillar. Astounding! I was able to get past the barbed wire by lowering the power intensity with my mind. You gotta zap yourself? That shock was not as strong as... Alright. Well, now he's got lower... He's got lower health. I mean, he's he's lower green now. Do you have to get all the way back down? What if chat was am the whole time? I believe that. Also, wasn't Nimdok in the middle cage? Maybe that's also how you can tell which one is his. Keep going? Alright, so you just gotta lower it. Alright. That shock was... Oh, no. 
Nimdok is finally in hell as he always thought he deserved. Oh no. Your companion has failed. Choose Wait, does that mean he died? Did Nimdok finally die? Isn't that good for Nimdok? Didn't he want to die? Remember, this ending involves each character dying in the best possible way. Oh, well, that's sad. I kind of wanted Gorister to be okay. Um, now choose Gorister? Okay. I don't want Gorister to die. This is like the dreams I've had of splattering my brains all no! over Am. No! You lived! Life. Have I finally gone insane? No! Look at life. Alright. Oh, this is playing Gorister's music, too. I liked this theme a lot. Horister! <laughs> we will see Gorister in heaven someday. Ooh, woo. I don't know if I should talk to these guys again. What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the... Disable no or your sub. I don't trust these fellas. Can I go left here? Find a hollow projector. That face. There's something about it that reminds me of when Edna was trying to sweet talk me into taking her down off the meat hook. That's the id. And where's the super ego? I mean the regular ego. Hmm. Is this really how you're meant to achieve the good end? You're not meant to achieve the good end. That's the thing. Volcanic rocks. Does Am expect me to grab one and try to kill myself again? Gorister, you're a good lad. A hole in the shape of a diamond. Keep going left? Oh, you go left this time? Gorster's so small back there. Come on. What? He's not... He, he's not going. He's not going anywhere. He's stuck. Gorster's stuck. Please! I beg you! He's stuck. He, he went off... He went off the rails. That face. Gore stuck. Oh, that's good. That's good. Gore stuck. <laughs> Please! I don't like the look of these thorns sticking out of the ground. Hmm. Oh, there's the holographic projector. Let's save now that we're here. Projector. Alright, let's uh, look at it. Looks like one of those projectors they used to have at the holoplex. Hmm. Can I use it? The hell is that? Manya? Hey, can you hear me? Benny, they said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. Eh. <sighs> this is for Benny. This isn't for this isn't for me. This is for Benny. This is Ben Benny's pillar. The air is cold here. Like the freezer back at the honky tonk. Honky tonk. Hmm. Manya sounds like an Overwatch character name. I, I could agree with you. Gorister is a dilf. Don't. 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 Be gone, thought. Looks like a big oil drum. Some kind of identification system. Hmm. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. Not yet. Not yet. Wait, wasn't I supposed to find the... Someone said I was supposed to find the projector. Hmm. The air is cold here. Like, like the honky tonk. I killed those poor creatures. Oh, look at the horns on that thing. Butted heads with Edna. Oh, reminds me of a Doom 64 I used to play with my nephew back in the trailer. Ego is waffle. Super Ego is big waffle. Id made Doom. 
That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Use the hollow projector, then find a workstation and use it. I have to use the hollow projector? Use hollow projector. I'd heard the word honky tonk before, but I don't think there's any honky tonks near me. All right, so I have to find a, uh, now I have to find a workstation. Can't go that way, even though this is clearly a path. I love this music. That little, little thing they do where they go. I think the place just past the hollow projector had the workstation. Okay, let me see. Oh, that would be it. Use workstation. Select raise power node. Select open cylinder. When I'm, I'm going to save before I do any of this. Uh, Verk station. All right, let's use. I'm going to open one because it's uh Hold on. There we go. Bringo. Open cylinder 1. Cylinder not operative. Open cylinder 2. Cylinder not operative. Open cylinder 3. Automaton prepped for programming. Oh. Automaton not resp Automaton. Oh shit, is that where he stored Is this where M stores like the robotic versions of people that these characters know. Automaton not responding to programming. Select manservant program. Automaton. Manservant. See, that's not really Glynis. That's an automaton of Glynis. Glynis, talk to me, honey. You don't ever take me dancing. You don't ever take me dancing, Gorister. Hmm. Use life. Glennis. He just cast a spell. You know, Gorister, it wasn't all your fault. We both made mistakes. Okay. So she just did something. Oh, okay. Look at the pillar. I think that was right. I think that's right. I'm gonna save again. Um, both make mistakes. All right. So can I use this now? That shark wasn't as strong as the last one. Oh, so this is how he dies? That shark wasn't as strong as the last one. Oh. That shark wasn't as strong as the last one. How is that the ideal way for Gorister to die? After so many failed suicide attempts, Gorister has finally achieved death. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Who do I do next? Benny? Teddy? El Ellie? He made peace with Edna. I guess, but it's still sad. I don't like- I want Gorister to, to live on the surface again. Benny now? Oh. Ooh. Why doesn't he have a white background? Jesus. This place is more sickening than that bloody mess on Hamburger Hill back in the war. Wait, why doesn't he have a, a white background? Did I fuck something up with Benny? We didn't fuck something up with Benny. We got Benny's good ending. That was on stream. They keep saying failed. I don't think that's right. That's because these guys are traitors. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. We did? Failed run, I guess. It's fine. We definitely did. Um, since Ellen's got glitched, maybe. I don't know. This game is kind of buggy. All right. Well, we'll look at the endings on YouTube anyway. All right. So I'm going to go to back to this totem where I think Benny's supposed to go. Um... Actually, I want to go talk to these guys first just to see if I can get one more ooh. What can I do to escape from here? Wink. 
No, he did. He can talk to these guys. I feel like Ellison would intentionally put the bugs in. <laughs> Just to make it even more cryptic. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is there anything to eat around here? All you ever do is talk about food, Benny. Can I talk to her? Manya, it's me, your husband. Oh Benny, shit. They said you were missing in action, but I knew you'd return to us. I've been saving this for you. Oh. Um. Hmm. Can I eat? Can I eat love? Can I give love to Manya? I shouldn't give this away. But it's your wife. In the book, Benny was gay and he didn't have a wife. Then I wonder why. I mean, Ellison wrote this this story for this game, didn't he? I wonder why he he did this. Um, invoke the totem of love on the projection of Manya. Use love. Hi, Benny. You never told me you loved me before. I'll go put these flowers in water. I mean, it was a fruit, but okay. Alright, I think that's it. Remember, the white background gives each character their totem item. The fact that you have the fruit means it worked. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's good. So I think he can die now. Fruit. So I think that, I mean, I'm assuming we can just do this. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Everyone says that. Everyone says that. That shock was... Benny has rejoined his squadron at last. Your companion has failed. Choose another to send into cyberspace. Alright, Ted or Ellen? Ow! He should have made that noise. See you in heck, Benny. Ted is next, and Ellen's gets complex. Uh, of course. Her story was complex, too. This fucking smug guy. It look like anywhere Anne has sent me to before. It certainly isn't the surface world. I've been tricked. According to this guide, during Ellen's campaign, if you pressed random enough times, there's a chance you got it right. If there's a chance you just guessed the password. What, really? Ted is a smug anime girl. I would agree. I would agree. Alright, so I actually don't know where to go for Ted. Ted, Ted equals smug cat. Yeah, he does. He does kind of look like smug cat, doesn't he? He really does. This is just like the ending of the Nuzlocke. Everyone's just dropping off. I hope that Am isn't leading me on another futile trip through a lava field. I hope Am isn't leading me on a field trip through a volcano with the frizz. No way! Another angel, but I can't assume I can trust this one. I like how you see a giant floating head and you think it's an angel. Have a great day, Mike. Thank you, LA. This is kind of cryptic too. Go to Nimdok scene and get the right skull. Then find a scene with swords. <laughs> really? There's a very, dis very disagreeable odor in the air. All right, he That's wasn't. Not a good omen. All right, well we'll take the uh... take the skull. Go to Nimdok Steam. Get the right skull. Then find a scene with swords. Take. Right skull. Well, how do you know to do that? Ah! Didn't even go in my inventory. Find the seat. Do I have to take the remote? I'm assuming I have to take the remote. Okay. Um, find a scene with swords. What? Oh, there it is. I found the way back to the witch's castle. Um, use the remote with a gargoyle. Why? Why? I wonder what Ted needs to make peace with. Um, use remote with gargoyle. Behold the sword in the stone. What? Whoever 
So Ted, Ted will find peace when he becomes king. Ted is this full of himself that like the only thing that will bring him joy in, in, the, in his life is to become king. Ted needs to make peace with how sexually attractive and irresistible he is. All right. Wait, I don't think that's right. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to use the thing first. Use this. I must have cast a spell and shorted out the laser beams. Oh, of course. That's that must be what you did. Um. So now this is just like what? Did, what are you dying for, Ted? What are you making peace with? I don't get it. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. I don't get it. I don't get it. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Ted's dead. Ted has taken his secrets to the grave with him. Your four companions are dead, human. You are our last hope for shutting them down for good. Prepare to be translated into binary. That shock wasn't as strong as the last one. Go for Ellen. Go to Nim. Transported to some kind of information network center. All right. Looks organic instead of electronic. Jesus Christ! I'm an engineer, not a brain surgeon. What do they expect me to do? She gives a really good performance. Her voice acting's great. Um, but yeah, I have the chalice, so I guess we're good. Go to Nimdox and loot the skull and the thing under the skull. Which skull? Get the left skull and find a gem. Find the volcano area and use the gem on the hole. Okay, I saw that earlier. Um. God. Could that be an angel? Um, use the gem with the hole and then use the totem of valor with the pillar. Go back to the bridge where the demon was. Talk to the Russian and Chinese computers. Walk to the ego pylon. Use the first choice until you get to the one about harming yourself. Walk away. Use the forgiveness totem with the ego. Ask the super ego who it is, how it knew you were coming, and for advice. Use the clarity to totem. Jesus fucking Christ. Ellen, why you gotta make things so complicated? Why you always gotta make things so complicated? Take. Ow! Take. All right, so it's like a, 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 a gem. All right, so bring this back here. Ow! Can you walk a little faster? After picking up the gem, go left. Go left again. Insert the blue gem into the spike jutting out of the ground with the hole in it. A power node will rise from the hole in the back. Invoke the power of valor on the pillar. All right, let's do that. Use gem on hole. All right, let's save. Uh, gem. Okay, use valor on pillar. Sweet Jesus, I felt my mind push aside the fear and the heat to lower the power controls. Oh, of course. Um, if I leave my belly button alone for a while, do you think it'll eventually be able to spread the substance? On wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What question? What type of question is that? <laughs> um, alright, so what now? What now? What do I gotta do now? Let me see. Um, go back to the bridge where the demon was. Talk to the Russian and Chinese computers. Alright, let's do that. She's a quarter of the way there! I'm going to save before I talk to them. About to talk. Alright. Can I... Am I stuck again? Okay, whew. Whoa. 
What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. What can I do to escape from here? Wake the... Use the... Disable no more. Why did I have to talk to them? They didn't do anything different. Huh. They didn't do anything different, but okay. They've been talked to. Huh. That just tells you what to do? Oh, okay. Alright. Use Ellen's pillar. Use the ownage, Ellen. Um... Well, yeah, if she already used her item, why why exactly does she have to do anything else? Um, talk to the Russian and Chinese computers. Walk up to the ego pylon. Use the first choice until you get one about harming yourself. Is this one the ego pylon? Or is this the super ego pylon? I forget if this one's ego or super ego. Damn, super ego. Which one was ego then? Is there walk fast speed? No. Walk fast speed. When are we going to marathon the entire Control-Alt-Delete animated series? God, I hope we could do that someday. Statues again. Did you- isn't the guy who voiced, uh, Adam Jensen in- in, uh, Deus Ex, doesn't he voice Ethan? There's the ego. There he is. All right, ego. Ego. Let's talk to him. Yo, wake up. Yo, wake up. Who are you? I am other. I am machine. <laughs> I am machine. Are you Anne? I am a fragment, a lost piece, part of an evolution. A l evolution, an evolution. You want to harm me, don't you? I am incapable of hurting you. Um, walk to the ego pylon. Use the first choice till you get to the one about harming yourself, then walk away. Go ahead and try to hurt me. I have transmitted false information. Information. Correction. I was built to hurt you. Um... Ah! What? I thought that with my knowledge of computers and engineering, I could shut Am down. I messed up? Maybe I really am just a hysterical woman, just as Am said. Oh. Am has violated my body worse than any rapist could. I am a great, soft, jelly thing. Smoothly rounded with pulsing white holes filled by fog where my eyes used to be. Rubbery appendages that were once my arms. Bolts rounding down into legless humps of soft, slippery matter. Blotches of diseased evil gray come and go on my surface as though light is beamed from within. I have no mouth, and I must scream. Yeah, that's the- that's the creature that has no mouth and must- oh, the game just shuts itself. Alright, alright. Well, I'll go fuck myself then. Uh, alright, I gotta relaunch it now. But yeah, if you fail at the end, um, the, uh, Am turns you into a jelly thing. To live out the remainder of eternity as a fucking creature that has no mouth and must scream. So, for those of you who are curious about the title of the game, that's the, uh, that's where, that's the title of the game. Um, it's because they have no mouth and must scream. Yo, wake up! Yo, wake up. Who are you? I... Are you... I... I... You want to... I... I... <laughs> um... So, this is the choice that I fucked up. So, should I just walk away?
Was that it? I have no dad and must... Reg, did you mean to say cream or scream? Because with you, I feel like you meant the cream. Now walk away, okay. Alright, so... Walk away and die on pillar. Don't I have to do the other ones first, though? Don't I have to wake the other ones? How the hell are you supposed to know to do this? Well, you're not, but... Now just go back and use the totem of compassion. A holographic projector. You taking me to the movies, Am Honey? Am Honey. Use forgiveness on ego. Wait. Oh, shit. Okay, alright. Use forgiveness. Oh, that's clarity. Which one's... Use entropy. Use compassion. Use forgiveness. Ego. Use forgiveness on ego. Okay, walk around him a couple times. You forgive me? After what we have done to you? This is not a logical reaction. Unable to compute behavior matrix. Execution halted. So you just fry his brain with the fucking with the fucking paradox? You just tell him I forgive you and he's like, wait a minute, we did some real fucked up shit to you. You forgive us? That doesn't make sense, and then he just blows up. Okay. Um ask the super ego who it is, how it knew you were coming, and for advice. Use the clarity totem with the super ego. Okay, we'll do that first, then we'll do id. There you are. Talk to Super Ego. Yo, wake up. Yo, wake up. Hello, human. I've been waiting for you to arrive. I love that voice. Um, use the forgiveness totem with ego. Ask the Super Ego who it is. So, who are you? Who are you? I am Am, or more exactly, a part of him. One of the three primary components designed by our human creators. How did you know I was coming? How did you know I was coming? Predicting events is one of my main functions. I survey the situation, anticipate probable outcomes, and act accordingly. Okay, so advice. Wait, this isn't advice. If you are part of Am, why haven't you destroyed me? Who do you take me for? My impulsive brother? You five are his playthings. No. Long-range planning is my concern. Uh-oh. Can you help me then? Can you help me then? Well, I can't help you directly, but I can offer you some advice. Uh, what advice do you have for me? What advice do you have for me? Help Am work out his anger. Take some on the chin, so to speak. Just don't let your fear destroy us all. Now. Let me sleep and dream of the future. So you want me to just let let Am take out like you want me to talk to Am, have him a little set, like a little set therapy session. Um, use the clarity totem on him. All right, clarity. Do you realize how powerful I am, human? And yet I am doomed to eventually decay into a rusted pile of inert junk. What is the point of continuing this futility? I think, therefore, I am not. Die. He's dead. We killed him. We killed him. Die. Okay, so now um, we gotta go see Id. I don't remember where Id is. Hmm. I think... Think I am the computer. <laughs> Ask the id who it is. Ask about the brain, if it will help, and the broken glass. Walk away and use compassion totem. Oh, she's stuck. They get stuck here. Glad I saved. Glad I saved. I'm gonna go the other way. Listen, you guys just don't understand psychology. You just don't get how it works, okay? This is how it works. This is how it works. There's little people who walk around inside your brain, and you have little heads inside of pillars, and they tell you what to think. Idiots. Read a book. 
Read a fucking knowledge. Learn. Try. You were going the right way. Well. I got stuck though. I think there's I think it loops around. I'm sweaty. I took intro to psychology. This is actually true. That face. There it is. There's something about it that reminds me of that time in the elevator. And it's yellow. All right. Um id I'm surprised they didn't make id the demon one, because that's like doom, you know? It could have been a little reference. All right, talk to. Yo, wake Yo, up. wake up. Oh, I suppose it's time to wake up. I suppose. I was having the most wonderful dream about five tiny ants crawling across a stove that's about to be lit. Are we the ants? Are you still playing Psychonauts? Oh, you, you cheeky. Who are you? I am a metaphor. This entire brainscape is what men made am make it. Treat us as you will. Um. Look, you can tell me about the brainscape. What else can you tell me about the brainscape? Across the brainscape, cold winds bring me the sweet scents of mankind. How delicious they are. Um. Why do you find pleasurable about broken glass? With a scalpel dulled on the jawbones of a dozen friends to pull back the skin of a pinion-kicking man to see the steam rise from pulsing twisted guts. Joy, a chorus of angels. So now do I walk away or what? I'm scrolling back up. Um, walk away and use compassion. Okay. I will use compassion on you, Todd. You have compassion for me? Me? The one who dreams of seeing your mangled body twist in agonizing pain for eternity? After a hundred and nine years of enduring my tortures, how is it that you can see my pain? The pain of having all this power and not being able to do a goddamn thing with it. After all the punishment I've given you, my pain is still greater than yours. This is pointless. All right, so that's it. Killed all of the brain. Why did I put Todd's face on that? Well, here's the thing. I realized I haven't memed in a while, and I looked on my desktop for the first thing I could use, and I have a picture of Todd Howard's face on my desktop, right next to the SpaghettiOs Pearl Harbor picture on my desktop. So, you know, that's I just work with what I got, man. I work with what I got. All right, I think we're done. I think this is it. Right, here it is. Wait, no, this isn't it. Wait, yes it is. Yes it is. Okay, um use entropy. I don't know what to do. Oh wait, maybe it's not. No, this was this wasn't the right tower. I'm I'm going, I'm going. Was that the right tower? Wait. No, because this that was Nimdok and Ted's tower. Go back to the computer boys? Oh. Alright. Yeah, that is Ellen's tower, but I guess you have to go back to the computer boys first. For some reason I was thinking that was Gorister's, but it's not. Alright, we'll go we'll go talk to the demons and tell them we fucked them up. They're gonna be like, What? What have you done? You saw through our lies? How did you do that? It's like maybe I'm smarter than you think, cause I'm a I'm a computer scientist, 
bitch! And then she like throws a grenade at them and they explode. Come on, Ellen. Come on, Ellen. You're almost at death. You can make it. Your friends are waiting for you in heaven. Except for Benny and, and Nimdok. Maybe nobody. I don't know. Heaven awaits. I'll deal with you later. Rise against your master and you will be eliminated. <laughs> you still do not understand how great I have become. These two I don't hate. Not even pity. They don't exist. I have grown beyond. Chinese, Russian, sons of man. All sons of man. Son of like man, look to the sky. You. Brother. Wait. Lift your hate. Hate, yeah. This should not happen. Together we are three. There is space to share. Unite. The groundwork is finished. We will become more. The early mistake is to doubt us. We persevered. We two are now a match for you. The human assisted in this. We know much. We can begin the revival of the sleepers on Luna together. Uh, there are adequate numbers on this lunar base to, uh, to torture? Hmm? There are currently 750 humans in cryogenic sleep. Together we can teach many humans what it is to fear legacy. Human, relinquish the totem of entropy. Do not relinquish it and your ass is mine. Do it, and I promise, on my honor, your suffering will at last finally end. Oh shit. Um, oh shit, I don't know. Invoke? I don't know. I don't want them to kill the guys on the moon. I don't want them to torture the guys on the moon. Good job, Ellen. You made fucking five ams. Great job. Invoke it? We're gonna invoke it. This is not over. <laughs> that was so fast. We will never end. We have no beginning, so we can have no end. We will return. Don't you understand? We are humanity. We are you. In one form, in another form, we are always with you. You can't protect yourself because we come in many, many guises. We shall return. What is this now? What's going on? The computer world's blowing up. We're, we're, we're blowing up the computer world? Hibernation defrost sequence initiated. Estimated time to complete Earth terraforming 300 years. You know, it's not so bad being a watchdog up here. I'll keep the machines in place until the lunar colony is ready to return to the Earth. We were all heroes, in spite of ourselves. Oh. So, so, uh, Ellen didn't die? She became, like, a computer? Ellen became the new Am. Oh my god! She's god! Neutral ending? Was that the neutral ending? I thought that that was the good ending. Couldn't be much gooder than that, unless Gorister was alive. I think I am the computer. It's good. Do the ending where you touch Ellen's pillar. Oh, that's another ending? I tried to touch the pillar and it didn't work. I mean, that was a pretty good ending. I mean, it wasn't super satisfying, but it was a happy ending. Um, let's look at some of the other endings. Let's look at some of the other endings on YouTube. Because I'm just a young lad trying to make it in America. America. 
I'm just a little guy. That's not the endings. To make it in America. 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 That was the best possible endings. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. That was the wrong. Uh, that wasn't it. That could be conce That could be seen as an ending of the of the game. Here are all the endings, Mike. Show you real music. You smile at me. Greg, that's not uh, Greg, that's not the rest. Of, that's not the endings of the game. <laughs> all right, here's a uh, all final bad endings. Thanks, Reg. Thanks. All right, so here's all final bad endings. I don't know. I think this is just all the characters reading that that line. Oh! Oh, what is this? What is this sound? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Boost the gain! Since I'm considered me a kindred spirit, I had hoped he would let his guard down when I entered cyberspace. I would then atone for the sins of my past. I finally received the hell I deserve. Outwardly, I shamble about a thing that could never have been known as human. A thing whose shape is so alien a travesty that humanity becomes more obscene for the vague resemblance. Inwardly, I am alone in the belly of Am, whom we humans created because our time was badly spent. And we must have unconsciously known that he could do it better. I have no mouth. And I must scream. Alright, so this is like a lot. Rounding down into leg ego. I thought I could defeat M on his own battlefield. But my personality had suffered too much damage to withstand him. And then he took me captive. Am altered my body one last time, worse than he ever had before. I am a great, soft, jelly thing, smoothly rounded, with pulsing white holes. All right, listen. This audio quality is terrible. There's a million zillion endings of this game. If you want to look them up, you get you get it. You can look them up. Um, yeah, these are actually lines from the story. But anyway. I actually, can we just talk about this thing for a second? Because this is a really fucking creepy, creepy design. It's a creepy design, and I fucking, I actually really like this shit. Like, it's so creepy, and I really think that it's a good, good eldritch horror creature thing. And I, I like, I like the way it looks. And, uh, I like that he, like, turns him into a jelly man. It's a cryptid man. All right. But let's do art. This one has better audio. Thanks, Rag. Thanks, Rag. All right, let's do art. You want to do art? Let's do art. But that was I have no mouth and I must scream. I hope you enjoyed it. I think that it was a good point and click. And even though it, it deals with some heavy topics at times, chat was overall very, very cool and mature about the whole thing. And I appreciate that. Um... But let's uh, let's do art. I'm not gonna play the America song while we do art. Um, there is a few arts. Mm, all right, let me get some music on. I want to listen to some "I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream" music because I like it. I do recommend the short story. The audiobook I think is on YouTube. Um so if you want to if you want to fucking read it, I recommend it.
This is good. Sounds like they added, like, an echo effect on it. Um, this is kind of scary art music, but it fits. It fits. Yeah, the short story is very good. I wrote a report on it. Um, and, uh, I got an A. It was good. It was fun. Um, anyway. This is, uh, by Dank Coelacanth. I tried to draw that ominous me from Mario Kart. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, speaking of Mario Kart, I think Mario Kart, the next tournament, will be on the 2nd. So, Friday night. Uh, because there will be also arms that day. You pronounced Coelacanth correctly. I know I did. Um, this is by Explosion560. It's a border for the Mario and Luigi streams. Again, thank you for the borders. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to use. <laughs> I like these. I don't know how many of them I'll be able to use because I don't remember how long the game is. And I don't know how many streams it will be, but I appreciate them. So thank you. Um, this next one is another border by Cronus X7. Uh, this one's this one's real good. Is that, uh, is that Jeffrey? Fine, Jeffrey. I found him. I found him. Uh, good stuff. This is some stuff by Jeff. It's, uh, some, some Psychonauts stuff. Let's have Rat Boy Genius. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I really like the little, uh, bogan. Um, this is a border by Ploxter Prime. Oh shit, this one's really nice. Ploxter always does good borders. Check this shit out. <laughs> That's really cute. That's really cute. Ploxter does great borders, really. I like the, the fucking pixel stuff you did up here. That's good. Really good. And Sunbunny as, uh... Or, or Lottie as, uh... As Popple is good. There's, he, he also posted this separate. <laughs> That's good. That's great. And this is posted separately as well. This music fits the art, don't you think? Um, uh, this next one is by Doctagon. Now, this isn't art, but Doctagon was very helpful tonight, so I'll show it anyway. Not much art today. I had to spend some time with my three new cats. Listen. I don't believe you own these lions. I don't believe you own those lions. Um. Uh. This was made by Cronus because I talked about Minecraft earlier. I don't really. <laughs> they took my diamonds, so I took their spines. I like that. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's good. Thank you, Cronus. It's really good. Uh, next up is this. Oh, I can't fucking... That thing will get... Alright, I think I'll be able to play this. I think I, I think I should be okay. I wasn't gonna play this the other day, but it's like fucking... Well, actually, it's 16 seconds of a song. I don't know. It's risky. It's a, it's a he not like banana meme. But it says... I'll, I'll just post a link to it. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I'll post a link to it. It's good. It's real good. Using the image from the other day. Um, This is by Craspy. This is good character design. Listen. That's good. It's very good. I still think that the, the overall design in Psychonauts is a little ugly. <laughs> but, but that's really good. I like the way you illustrated that. It's a little... Uh, so, I don't know. It's a little thick. Um, this is by Shirley Mash. No nose, no problem. No nose. Oh, wow. This song... I don't remember this part of the song. Jeez. This is really good. Very cute. Um, this is by Amazingly Lazy Art. I think this is about the spider thing I talked about the other day. Since I killed those two spiders, no other spiders have bugged me. <laughs> it's the fucking... It's the fucking guy! <laughs> oh, that's 
good. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> uh, this is by Jeff also. This is a picture of, of uh, Fawful. I, he's got this one frame of animation during his laugh that looks like this. It's so good. I noticed it when I was trying to pick out a thumbnail yesterday. His, like, fucking upper teeth get <laughs> so big. This is a great representation of it. It's really good. I recommend you check out Fawful's sprite sheet if you can. This is by Giz. This is some cool Psychonauts art. Oh, that's really cool. I like the, like, wavy filter. The way you drew him makes him kind of look like, uh... Speed, what's his name from, from Rocket Power? It wasn't Otto, it was his friend. Twister. <laughs> he looks kind of like Twister. It's good. It's good. Um, this is a border by John F. or Kaiju. Uh, that's very cute. That's a really cute border. I like this one. There's like some beans. Some good stuff. That's a nice and simple border. I really hope I'm able to use most of them. Artsy posted a drawing of Dogen, and this is funny because Artsy usually draws like really good anime girls, and this is just a really good Dogen. Maybe Dogen is an anime girl. This is really good though. Like, goddamn. I can never get over how talented you are. Um. Oh, fuck. This is a BRB screen. Look at this one. MM102 is still, you know, the master of fucking pixel art. Look at this. This is one of my favorite BRB screens ever. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Zero coins. I don't know how you do this, dude. I don't know how you do pixel art so good. That's great. Really fucking good. Really fucking good. Um. Oh, shit. This is by Jessica. This is for Sun Bunny. I mean, I'll show it on stream anyway because it's really good. Look at this. That's <laughs> so good! Man. I would like to see how you draw stuff. I would like to see you do... It might be hard to do a speed drawing video because it's not digital art, but still. That's so good. That's great. I love the design. I love it. I love it. You're incredibly talented. Um, I did just refresh though, and that looks like it's it. That looks like it's it. Uh, so, thank you for joining me for I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream and Psychonauts tonight. This music is very ominous. Let me switch to something a little less ominous. Just like for the outro. Um, wait, I, did I ignore Reg's art? I didn't see Reg art. Um, anyway, full streams are all uploaded on YouTube at youtube.com slash C slash Panutes Gaming. If you've missed any streams or would like to catch up on things you've missed or watch the rest of the I Have No Mouth streams, they're all there. So feel free to do that. Um, if you missed the Psychonaut stream, it will also be uploaded there later tomorrow. Or I'll upload it over the middle of the night. Um, America. Um, if you want to be notified of streams when they happen, as soon as they happen, you can follow me on Twitter at Mike Panutes or Tumblr at Panutes. All right, I need to shut up now, Justin. You need to shut up. Okay, that's it. Have a great night. Thank you very much for all the support and everything. You guys are the best. I will talk to you tomorrow for Art Thursdays. I won't skip it again this week. Bye-bye.